All right, guys, so today is officially the day. Uh, I was hoping to get the car a few days earlier, like last week, you know. Obviously, ran into a few problems, just needed a few extra parts, but everything's back together. So we're gonna go take this bumper, we're gonna throw it in my work truck, and we're gonna uh, drive down. I have to go to Canadian Tire to pick up some uh, last minute parts. I just need a battery terminal. The one on the car right now is a little broken. And uh, we're gonna throw it all back together and drive it home. All right, guys. So it is officially running. We're just doing a little test run. I have no hood on right now. And of course it's raining like crazy, but she drives, guys. She feels amazing. Like, this is honestly unreal. All the gauges are fine. I've got good fuel or uh, good oil level. That's what the issue was. The blow off valve sounds amazing. We got everything readjusted. This car's got a crazy flutter on it now. Man, it just, so insane driving this car again. It's been, almost like six six months seven months that i haven't been in this car uh we got the new wrapped uh center console piece most of the wraps off we still got a little bit of blue but it is what it is i'll get it off later but man this is insane guys i am so excited all right here she is guys so we got the hood back on i went with the satin black wrap for the hood i think it looks really nice especially with the headlights. Man, I just can't believe this car is finally all in one piece again. I'm just trying to get some of the straggling wrap off. There's a little bit on it still. I'm gonna have to take the wing off to fully get all that off, but all the doors, the wheel wells and all that. Get all that. Clean this wrap off. I was picking at it a little bit. Car feels really good, the only thing is, reverse still doesn't work a hundred percent so i think i'm gonna have to go drop the tranny and take that to a shop to get rebuilt but man i literally forgot how this car looked in one piece man all right guys so we're just gonna carry on from when i was last filming uh we got a little bit more of the wrap off the car uh, i got all the side decals off i just got the wing off and uh we're gonna get all this remaining wrap off i'm gonna have to tint the other tail light and then it's gonna be 100 percent red again oh and then we got to get the stuff under there then i'm probably gonna go get a nice car wash just because this car is disgusting it hasn't been cleaned and i don't even remember how long but yeah so we're just gonna take apart the wing it actually the top and the bottom part they separate because like i wrapped all underneath those parts so i'm gonna separate that and uh clean it all up and I guess I have to take the light out. There's uh, some wrap that's underneath there as well. But yeah, guys, I'll just give you a quick update when it's, I get all this stuff cleaned up. All right, so we got all the wrap off the back hatch. I just separated the wing. We got pretty much everything off the top half. The bottom half, I just gotta get that out. We cleaned up the light. That's all good now. And I just need to get the door handles as well. So I'm gonna get all this stuff off. Man, my fingers are literally killing from just peeling piece by piece off this car. I can't even use my other hand just because my thumb hurts so much right now. I gotta leave it a, a little break. And this isn't the easiest to do with one hand. Alright. It's coming nice and easy. These big pieces aren't as bad. Alright, so we went ahead, put the wing back on, it is all nice and clean, all the wraps off, we got the stuff between, behind the plate, and I went ahead and tinted the other taillight, I think it looks pretty sweet. It, uh, it's a little messed up, I kind of rushed it, uh, all the boys were over, we were going for a little cruise, so I did it in like literally a minute, but I'll probably redo it again, but oh, man, this red is nice, uh, still just have to, oh, this little piece little piece of blue just straggling along right there let's get that off you want to get your hands caught between a 350z door it'll take them clean off if any of you have a 350z you know what i'm talking about 
There we go. Yeah. There's a few more little pieces, whatever. I got uh, another small piece in the front bumper, but other than that, she's good, guys. Uh, we're just gonna give her a nice little quick wash down. I might try to put these emblems on a little bit better. I don't want to lose another set of them. Respects to Nick, who uh, ordered me a nice set of uh, a full set of emblems. And yeah, we're gonna need the, a nice vacuum or something. It's pretty nasty in here right now. Um, I still need to put all the rear stuff in. I also went ahead and I put these support bars back on. So everything in here is 100%. I went ahead, I ordered uh, some new supercharger fluid. There wasn't quite enough. There's enough for the car just to, you know, do whatever, kind of just drive it around. But to actually push it, I'm going to need to uh, wait till that comes in. Uh, I'm almost at the 150 kilometer mark. I think I'm at uh, like one, 106 on this oil change. So around 150, we're going to do another oil change on it, uh, flush all that oil out, and then we're going to put some uh, good quality oil in. And... Um, Put a few more kilometers on her and then uh, I think it's time for a tune. The exhaust is coming in. I, uh, I'm i gonna probably have that on by next week. And I'm looking at some wheels for it and some suspension, but my main focus as of right now is the exhaust tune and then whatever maintenance needs to be done with the motor just to, just to get it running healthy before we start making it look nice. All right, so now that since all of that stuff is dealt with, we're going to go ahead and wash the car down. It is, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty dusty. We're going to spray it down, get the foam gun up. Um, actually, it sucks. This is probably like the best $20 I've ever spent. It's uh, this soap gun off Amazon. It comes with an extension, a little adapter that fits onto your hose. But I ended up, uh, it dropped and it broke. So we got to kind of jerry-rig it on the hose. I'm definitely going to order another one of these. But I was looking online and there's like the Chemical Guy one. It's like $100. And then this one's $20. It literally does the exact same thing. I had the Chemical Guy one in my cart. I was about to order it. And then I'm like, you know what? I'll do a little research. I watched some videos on it. I'm like, you know what? It's twenty dollars. Worst things worse. I, I just buy the other one, but I have to say this is an amazing purchase. You know, you just fill this up with soap, water. I always, I always get this stuff. I don't know. Turtle wax works for me. It smells great. Makes my car clean. And yeah, so let's get into that, boys. Alright, guys. So this is a hack job I got on here. I got a bunch of electrical tape and some other bullshit tape but it's leaking a bit but uh she's holding up well so we got the foam filled up let's get it Guys, look at that. She is finally clean. And the red is so nice. It literally just shines in the in the sun. So you wipe it down. Oh, and this this is just so we can cover that hole when we wash it. I need to get a new antenna for it. I'm gonna order one of those short little carbon ones. But yeah, now she is nice. I love the mat or the satin mat, whatever you want to call it, the hood. It really goes nice with the car. Love it. All right, guys, let's uh, clean her up, and uh, yeah.